Hi everyone, it's Sonia from Angel Light Healing here. Thank you so much for joining me. This is your Twin Flame reading for today. What does the Divine Feminine want to tell her Divine Masculine? So if you'd like your own personal reading or a Twin Flame reading, get in contact with me at angellighthealingatoutlook.com. So the card decks that I've used today for this reading are the Moonology, the Magical Mermaids and Dolphins, the Goddess Guidance Oracle, the Archangel Oracle, the Magical Messages from the Fairies and the Romance Angels. And at the end, I will uh, select a number as well from my beautiful pink dice there. Okay, so I've already gone ahead. I've shuffled the cards for you. So what is it that the Divine Feminine wants to tell her Divine Masculine? And the first card is Believe in the Impossible. Okay, so some of the Divine Feminines have been questioning this connection. All right, perhaps their faith has been, um, you know, perhaps they've been questioning their faith. So they're going through a lot of turmoil, emotions at the moment, um, because this is a blue card and it is a blue moon. So bear in mind, we are still in this Mercury retrograde, so emotions may be heightened for the Divine Feminine, and this is rubbing off on um, the Divine Masculine as well. So some of the Divine Feminines may feel like they're in the cold here. They've been um, pushed to the side. Perhaps they've been feeling like they're out in the cold and they don't know where this connection is going. Um, some of them have lost belief, unfortunately, in this. Okay, they've been tested here. So what this is teaching the Divine Feminine is to gather their strength, their courage and their determination and to also work on themselves, to go inward to look at themselves, to see, you know, what they're feeling and connect, reconnect with their heart. Okay, so the Divine Feminine is saying that even though um, I may be in the cold, even though I have gone through, you know, um, all these emotions that I've been experiencing, even in this Mercury retrograde, I am still maintaining my faith and my belief that anything is possible here. All right, what's the next card? Let's see. Hold your vision, yeah. So what the Divine Feminine is telling you, Divine Masculines, is that she's maintaining her vision here, which is on the union. She's seeing her and her Divine Masculine as um, a couple, okay? There is change coming. So this moon is half black, half white, which, or blue. You can interpret it how you like, but I feel that there is definitely change coming here. So the Divine Feminine is rising above her struggles because the mountains represent struggles and she's focusing on herself. She's focusing on um, maintaining her dreams and her desires and her goals here in regards to this connection. And she's maintaining this vision as well as her and her Divine Masculine um, will come into union. Okay, so let's keep going. The next one is break free. Some of the divine feminines have had to break free from this connection. So that is feeling, you know, being out in the cold. They've been forced to work on themselves, being forced to work on their emotions, their anger, their resentment, their guilt, perhaps, that they have connected to this, um, to this connection. Some of the divine feminines have had to let go of their divine masculine here in order to rise above to rise above the mundane, to rise above their emotions. Because some of the divine feminines have been too obsessive, have been caught up in their emotions here, and they know that this is not um, the way to go. They know that this is controlling behavior. Okay, so they're working on breaking free of the negativity. They're breaking free of... Um, any hold that they may have on their divine masculine because they know that they can't control their divine masculine here. I see, to me, it looks like there's an angel hovering over here. So the divine feminine is working with the angelic realm, um, the universe here to help her to release any pent up emotions, to release any anger or negativity. She wants to break free from these old patterns. Okay. And pink is also representative here of um, self-love. So she's working on herself. Let's see what the next card is. Positive energy. Yeah. The divine feminine is surrounding herself with positive, like-minded people. She's surrounding herself with positive um, energy. So this can definitely be immersing herself in nature, exercising, um, meditation. She's also um, reading books that are lifting her energy up. 
So the divine feminine is seeing and also working on seeing herself in a divine masculine in a positive light. So the divine feminine is saying here, divine masculine, I am sending positive energy your way. I'm sending loving thoughts your way. And I pray that you are picking up on my energy and this. What's the next card? Easy does it. Yeah, so the divine feminine understands that she can't rush this connection, even though some of the divine feminines may be ready for this union. She understands that it, it is going to take time. How much time? Who knows? That's up to the divine. Okay, so she says here that she's becoming more aware of um, what she has to do in order to heal herself, all right? She's got all these beautiful rainbow colors that to me represents that everything is going to work out okay. And it will work out in divine timing. But she's trying to be more easy on herself. Perhaps some of the divine feminines have been hard on themselves, um, especially when it comes to trying to um, control the divine masculine here. They know they need to break free from these negative patterns because it is negativity. Controlling is negative. The only thing that the divine feminine can control is herself. And she wants more peace, okay? She's surrounding herself with more peaceful situations, environments here. So she is working on that. The next card is you are safe. Some of the divine feminines are working with Michael here. Michael is the archangel of protection. So the divine feminine is asking Michael to help her cut any cords that may be attached to her, cords that are um, restricting her. So she's asking Michael to break free of these cords, these shackles, whatever it is that's holding her back. All right, so she's saying that she's also, uh, for those who are mothers, um, they're working with Michael to protect their families as well and to protect this connection too. Some of the divine feminines are in secrecy here. Some of them may be in a current karmic relationship um, and they're protecting their twin flame relationship. So some are doing this in secret. That might apply to a few of you. Divine order. Yeah, so the divine feminine is saying here that... Um, She's seeing things in reality. She's looking past illusions, all right? She's seeing things how they need to be right now. So she's calling on the angels to help her to gain a positive perspective here. And she's calling on more balance, okay? Perhaps the divine feminines have felt like they've been out of balance. This can also represent an air sign like a Libra. It could be Gemini or Aquarius as well. So she's calling on um, the divine to help promote and bring more balance into the situation and into her life. Some of the divine feminines may actually be going through some legalities at the moment in regards to separation, divorce, custody battle, whatever it may be. So she's going through um, this as well for some. The next card is take back your power. Yeah. So the divine feminine is saying here that she um, is letting go of control. She's taking back her own power. She's working on increasing her inner strength and her power here. All right. So she knows that when she's coming from a place of love, unconditional love um, and power, this promotes blessings in her life. Okay. Because she's strong and she knows what she wants. What she wants is this union with her divine masculine, but she knows that she can't control her divine masculine, um, all this connection. So she is working on building herself up. For some of the divine feminines, perhaps have felt like they've given all their power away to their divine masculine, okay, which has left them deflated, left them feeling like they're out in the cold, okay? They've given all their love, all their strength, all their energy to this connection, but they understand that there, this has to be equal from both parties, which is why some of the divine feminines have had to break free here, have had to let it go, just to work on themselves. They know that everything's going to be okay. Look again, there's a rainbow in this card. So the divine feminine is divinely guided here, and she is getting her power back. All right, so what's the next card? Winter. In Australia, we are, well, especially where I am, we are in the winter months until the end of August. So the Divine Feminine is saying here that um, she's sending positive energy to her Divine Masculine, loving thoughts here, and she understands that 
you know, she's getting close to something. She's getting close to either communication or reconciliation here. She's getting close to a union. And she understands that this will be realized very soon. So for us here in Australia, again, this is in the winter months. We have until the end of August. So there is change coming. Definitely change coming. This can also represent for many divine feminines, they feel like they have been left out in the cold. Look at all the snow here. So I just heard Ice Queen. This can represent that the divine feminine has put up a wall to her divine masculine. And the divine masculine may be feeling shut off from the divine feminine. It's because the divine feminine has been working on gaining her inner strength here, gaining her power. And she's working on maintaining a positive um, outlook here. So the romance cards, I have three. I'm going to flip them all over. The first one is engagement. Then we have attraction. And then we have retreat. Yeah. So some of the divine feminines are definitely taking some time out here. They're taking some time to reflect on this connection, to reflect on themselves and their actions. Okay. And their emotions here. Um, the divine feminine is definitely attracted to a divine masculine. She holds a lot of positive energy towards her divine masculine here. She loves her divine masculine. Okay, she knows that her divine masculine is also attracted to her. Um, a lot of positive energy. I just hit 11 and 11 on this video. So yeah, definitely a twin flame connection. Um, and the divine feminine wants a commitment. Some of the divine feminines have been waiting for a long, long time for a commitment from their divine masculine. Even if it is um, not an engagement, but some form of acknowledgement here to say that the divine masculine is attracted to her, that he loves her, that he desires her, okay? And um, taking this connection to a higher level, all right? Some may actually be coming into a union. Some may actually be getting engaged here. This is what the divine feminine is looking forward to, is that ring on the finger, is that commitment here, all right? But they understand that uh, they uh, in retreat mode at the moment, which is okay because we're still in this Mercury retrograde um, and they're taking some much needed time out, spending time in nature, grounding their energy and a lot of the divine feminines have been going within here. Okay, so that is the twin flame reading. However, we have these beautiful pink dice that I am going to see what comes through. What's the number? We have... Four and two, which equals the number six. Okay, so for some of you, you may connect with this number. This represents the month of June. Um, some of you may connect with this. You could also connect with February or April here. So this could be your birthday, your uh, Divine Masculine's birthday, but six. The sixth day of a month can also be important for some of you as well. So this is the number six. Okay, so that is your twin flame reading. What does the divine feminine want to tell her divine masculine? If you are after your own personal reading or a twin flame reading, get in contact with me at angellighthealing at outlook.com. Thank you so much for those of you who have subscribed to my channel. I'm feeling the love and support from you all. Thank you for your wonderful comments as well. I love you all so much and I appreciate um, all your support and your love as well. So if um, you haven't subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button and like and share my videos. Many angel blessings to you all.